seems like I just keep driving through from one thunderstorm to another. Um, headed back up here today to get the ingredient I am going to need to create the following video that you're going to see. It's Wednesday, I just got off work. Uh, it took me about 45 minutes to get back out here. Just waiting for the storm to lighten up just a little bit. These are just thunderheads, and some of them were just vicious driving up. It looks like it's calmed down enough. I got a raincoat. I'm going to get started on this. I'll show you what we got going on. All right, we're going to do this anyway. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. It looks beautiful out here. Let's get this started. So from what I've read, um, you need about eight cups of fireweed petals to make um, fireweed jelly. And that's, I was going to play around with a jalapeno fireweed jelly, but I thought the first time I did it, I'd just do regular fireweed jelly. So it's firmly packed eight cups, and I have a huge bag here going on. And let me show you, I don't know if I can pull this up to the camera so you can see it. Look at the flower petals. Is that beautiful or what? So I'm going to pick a little bit more here. Um, from the other side of the road and then I'm gonna head back over to the house and we're gonna put this thing together it said you should rinse them too but it's raining so I probably won't have to rinse them <laughs> and this has been the story of my day so far crazy 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 rain The recipe also said to rinse the flowers before you do it, but seeing as I picked them in the rain, I'm going to let nature rinse them. I don't know if it's going to make any difference pulling out the uh, the greens. Put my hand down here. The leaves this, uh, that the flowers came off of, but I'm going to pull them out anyway. So here is a well-packed cup, and I need eight of these in my two-quart pot. OK, 
Okay. And that is number eight. Eight cups of, eight packed cups of flowers. Let me show you where we're at right now. And I'm glad I did not use the two-quart pot. Now, the next instruction is before you can make a jelly with this, you have to make the fireweed syrup, basically. So I'm going to just cover the top of these flowers with water. If you put too much water in it when you make it, um, you're going to end up with a brown liquid. What I'm looking for is a purple liquid. And a brown liquid is no big deal because once you, uh, once you add the lemon, from what I understand, it's going to go ahead and um, purple it back up again. So let's get the water added and then we will start the water to boil. I'm not going to start it off on too high of a heat, but I wanted to show you where I'm at here with the water. So it's just to cover the flower. So if I were to push those flowers down right now, they would just be covered in there. And we let that go. While we're getting this part going, I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, my jars sterilized and ready to go. This recipe supposedly makes about six jars, so I'll sterilize seven jars just in case. And I'm using the eight ounce canning jars for this recipe. We get purple, and yeah, we get kind of purple. You could really see the color on this one now. Holy smokes, that's pretty. That is really pretty. So we're going to stir that up really well. We're going to let that thing come to a complete boil again. And once it starts boiling at a hard boil, we will start the clock again. You want to go one eighth of an inch from the top. That's going to be a mess. That's going to be a mess. Look at the color. That is beautiful. So if this turns out to be a fail, it's a fail. I'm not really worried about that. Um, I'll make another batch. I just wanted to make sure I had all of the... I mean, I intended for this not to be a fail, by all means. But I'm going to make sure I had all the process down and I had all the equipment correct. So uh, if this turns out to be a fail... Ooh, they're starting to pop. Ooh, I like it. Um, then that's fine. We'll make another batch. 
Um, not every single time you try something for the first time is it a success. And this is the very first time I've ever made fireweed honey. But man, I'll tell you what. Look at that. Or fireweed honey. Fireweed jelly. Look at the color. I mean, it picked up the color from those flowers like nobody's business. That is beautiful. All right. We're going to let this set for the night. And then we will give it a taste tomorrow when we get home from work. Uh, I've got some crackers. Some little Keebler crackers. Maybe I'll try it on the Keebler crackers tomorrow and see how that turns out. They're kind of a really mild butter cracker, so I'll be able to taste most of the jam flavor on it. That's it for now. Now we wait. Okay. Here we are at the next day. All the jars sealed up nicely. I think I already know what I'm going to find here. Um, hopefully I'll be pleasantly surprised, but I don't think so. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't think it's set, and I'll tell you why in a second here. Ooh. Yeah, didn't set. Um, we'll give it a taste, though. Okay, so let's jump back up to here. Why would I go ahead and, and even bother... If I knew it didn't set, why would I even go ahead and bother posting this video? Well, because when you're when you're doing stuff like this, it doesn't always work. Um, and experience and trial and error will get you much further along. But when I realized last night that the recipe that I was doing was actually for four of these, and I got eight of these, I went back and looked at the recipe again, and the recipe said that I was only supposed to use two and a half cups of the liquid from the flowers. Everything else was perfect, but... I used too much of the liquid and there was no way that it was ever going to set with what I used. Um, it, whenever I do anything on here, if it doesn't work out and it's a failure, I'm going to show you. That's all there is to it. So what am I going to do with all this stuff now? Because I put a lot of work into this. I picked up some more um, pectin and I picked up some more sugar. And since I'm going to take a guess and say that since this was a recipe for four um, and I got eight, that if I go ahead and pour all of this back into a pot, heat it all back up again, add an extra three cups of sugar, and add an extra box of pectin, do the pectin first, just run it through just like I normally would, um, and then process these again, that I'm going to end up with hopefully fireweed jelly that will work. Uh, I'll give it a try. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. Not everything you do succeeds, um, but you know, every time you don't succeed and you fail, you learn something. And I learned something. I learned how to do this entire process. And I also learned that I better make sure I check the directions more than uh, more than once. Um, but it's beautiful still. I, I just think it's so pretty, the color of this. And the taste was actually kind of nice. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to see if I can't fix this. I'm going to end this video here now, though. Um, and I will post pictures on the Instagram page to show you. I'll do, I'll do a little short video on Instagram, which will also show up on the Facebook page to show you how this thing turned out this weekend. Um, my name is Sean, Sean in Alaska, and I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, the Instagram and the Facebook page link are down below in the show notes. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great, great day. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.